Welcome to the fog. Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to assemble a device example for the wireless transmitter and receiver set. The example shows you how to turn on LED with a button using 433 MHz wireless communication. When the button is pressed the transmitter sends a signal to the receiver that it turns on the LED. I using one microcontroller to control the transmitter and one microcontroller to control the receiver. I am going to use 433 MHz wireless transmitter and receiver set. The device includes the following base electronic elements. Microcontroller Xavier Atmega 328P. The device uses the universal asynchronous receiver and transmitter UART capability of the Atmega 328P allows you to easily communicate the microcontroller with other devices that support UART. It is the primary interface to many other devices, such as GPS receivers, other microcontrollers. Pair of 433 MHz modules, FS1000A and ZMK 5V. FS1000A, the transmitter. Working voltage, 3 to 12 volts. Higher voltage it's more power it's more range. Current while transmitting, 28 milliamperes. Range, up to 200 meters. Data speed, up to 10 kilobytes per second, but range drops considerably with speed above 2400 bit per second. ZMK5 volts. The receiver. Voltage, 5 volt. Very sensitive to voltage fluctuations. Always use stabilized power source and decoupling capacitor. Current while standby, 4 milliamperes. Button. The button is needed to generate a signal for the transmitter to turn on the LED. To create the transceiver I have developed a circuit diagram that looks like this. I wrote C code programs for transmitter and receiver microcontrollers. My explanation of the code will not be detailed, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. The link to the circuit diagram and source code is in the description. You are allowed to download them, but give me like and comment, please. Transmitter code Tell the compiler at what speed our chip is running so that it can calculate delays properly. Header to enable data flow control over pins. And header to enable delay function in a program. Define desired baud rate. Defines communicate parameters. Defines pin of the chip port for button switch connecting to a microcontroller. Define the debounce time and lock input delay. The procedure to microcontroller UART interface initialization. The function to transmit byte of data through UART interface. The function to send packets of data.
The function returns a Boolean value indicating whether or not the button was pressed. The procedure to microcontroller ports initialization. Set up the pin 0 of port C as input for connecting the button switch. The main function is where the AVR starts executing your code when the power first goes on, so it's the entry point of the program. This is where the initialization functions for ports and UART interface. This statement is a loop, often referred to as the main loop or event loop. This code is always true, therefore, it executes over and over again in an infinite loop. The main code sending signal of turn on the LED when a button is pressed is executed in the loop. building the project to generate the executable hex file to the transmitter chip. Next, the receiver code. Tell the compiler at what speed our receiver chip is running. Next, Include the preamble, which is where we put our include information from other files, which defines global variables and functions. Header to enable data flow control over pins. Header to enable interrupt function in the program. And header to enable delay function in program. Define desired baud rate. Defines receiver parameters. Defines pin of the chip port for LED. The Procedure to Microcontroller UART Interface Initialization The function to read the value out of the UART buffer The interrupt service routine of the receiver to receive a signal of turn on the LED The procedure to microcontroller ports initialization and global interrupt enable. Set up pin 0 of port for connecting the LED. The main function. This is a call of the initialization functions for ports and UART interface. The main endless loop state is empty. Interrupts are working. building the project to generate the executable hex file to the receiver chip. The hex files of the receiver and transmitter are ready to be loaded into the chips. I burn the program into the memory of the ATmega328P microcontroller using a Verdude software and an ISP programmer. Okay. Now, the device works in accordance with the instructions of the program. Let's check it out. You can help me by sharing this video if you like it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you later.